In today's episode, you'll learn how a video on a landing page can significantly improve conversions and what to include in these videos with examples. I'll show you how to easily create these type of videos without actually relying on a video agency or shooting in a studio. So let's take it to the next level. Hi everyone, I'm Carl. Welcome to Next Level Video Marketing, a channel where you get the latest strategies and tips to help you achieve your marketing and business goals through video. Now remember, if this is your first time on this channel and you wanna get the latest strategies to maximize the impact of your videos, hit the subscription button below, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss anything. So for the past several months, I've been reviewing landing pages for a variety of businesses, whether it's B2C and B2B, and I still can't understand why many of them, actually most of them, don't have videos on them. Because whenever I actually put videos on a landing page, it significantly improves the conversion rate, anywhere between 15, 20, 30, even 40%. Now, the major reason why I don't think you see many videos on landing pages is because a lot of people, whether it's marketers, business owners, even agencies, think it's probably a lot more resources, time, money, and effort to actually shoot and create these videos. But I actually wanna show you a very easy and effective way how to create these videos without relying on a video production agency or actually going to a studio and shoot. But before we get there, I actually want to explain why video on landing pages is extremely important. So videos on landing pages actually increase the conversion rate anywhere between 60 to 80%. Unbounce did a great study on landing pages with a video and without a video, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So another reason why you want to include videos on your landing pages is because it creates an emotional connection. You are telling me apart! So you won't no longer be that faceless organization or business. It humanizes your brand. So here's an advanced tip. If you're planning to use a video on a landing page where somebody is reaching out after somebody fills out a form, such as a demo request page, try to feature that person reaching out in your video. The reason being is you want that connection made before that person reaches out. It's a natural icebreaker. So here's some key things you need to include when creating your landing page video. So the first one is state the problem that the content or product is looking to solve. Then you wanna show how the content actually solves that problem. And finally, the benefits to the intended audience when they download the content or use your product. And make sure you have a clear call to action in the video, whether that's book that demo, buy the product, or download the content, whatever it may be. It's even better if you actually say the call to action in the video itself. Get yours today by hitting that learn more button. Another key item is actually creating a thumbnail for that video. Now, whether you're using YouTube or a video hosting platform like Wistia or Vidyard, they actually allow you to upload custom thumbnails. And I highly recommend you use an actual human face in that thumbnail. You probably know the YouTube face. That human face, again, like I mentioned earlier, humanizes your brand and it creates, initially even creates that human to human connection. People wanna do business with people. Okay, deal. Okay. And make sure to have captions and subtitles in your videos, especially for people with accessibility issues or those who don't have their sound turned on when watching your video. And then the final point here is make sure that video is above the fold. Whether it's on a mobile device or on a desktop, you wanna make sure that people actually watch the video and they see it and they don't have to keep scrolling down. So here's a couple examples of landing pages with these elements included. So one more optional element for your landing page video is to include social proof, especially if you have a lot of video customer testimonial. It's great to show how this content or product is actually solving your intended audience's problems. Now I'm going to show you how to actually create a landing page video without using a video production agency or shooting in a studio. But first, I highly recommend, like I mentioned before, to find somebody in your business to actually feature in these videos. So now I wanna go over how we shot and edited this marketing video uh, over Zoom. As you can see here, 
this is a recording on Zoom, but I didn't use Zoom's recording, which only records up to 720. Because we, we actually bought a webcam that's 1080 full HD, I actually recorded my screen with the recording using QuickTime. Because once you record on QuickTime, uh, you can export it very higher resolutions. I exported this in 4K, and it allows me to actually use the full resolution of the webcam that we bought. And I'll leave a link below on how to actually record your screen using QuickTime if you don't know how. Now, before we actually hit record, this is where we planned our lighting. And we actually didn't buy any lighting. We actually just used natural light. Now, I highly recommend you go watch Parker Wallbeck's um, cinematic lighting because what I was trying to go for here was more of that Rembrandt kind of um, loop lighting effect, which I think I got using the window, but obviously in a more controlled environment, I would have gotten that um, that lighting setup a little bit better. But as you can see, we've got the nice shadows on the right side of her face. And we also want to take a look at composition where I wanted to make sure the leading lines, as you can see here, she was symmetrical, it was balanced and everything was fit. And all it takes is a little bit of maneuvering and adjustment. And that's why before we actually shot, we actually went through her whole room and figured out where would be the best place to have her stand, have the laptop with the webcam uh, in front of her and where how it's positioned in relation to the light that's available. We use window lighting. We positioned her right now behind uh, another window. We've got great lighting from the, her right side of her face. And then we have got some great shadows on the left side. And this was all done through natural lighting. Would I have rather had another light? Yes but at that time we just didn't have any so we kind of used what we had so once we took care of lighting once we took care of the composition this is where we actually hit record so we recorded both on zoom and we recorded on quicktime and we just went through the script one tip for you if you are scripting this entire marketing video we actually go either line or paragraph by paragraph because what you want to make sure is that your talent is actually looking at the camera and not reading the script now this is harder on zoom because usually I'd use a teleprompter and we get the person to actually read while they're looking in the camera. But in this case, what our talent here did is actually memorize just two sentences for each clip and then we would reset. She would then re-memorize the next segment because we only had really short segments. It became a lot easier. Now, if you have a longer piece, anywhere between two, three, four, five minutes, it's going to be a little bit more onerous unless person you're interviewing can actually deliver it off the cuff. So I just want to go over a couple tips when you're shooting. One is definitely try to use um, your own team members because they add that natural authenticity. And especially here, the reason why we used Veronica here was because she is the person who, the moment somebody fills in that form on that page, she's the one who reaches out. So it's nice to have that connection prior to the person filling up the form. It's already of a, a bit of a natural icebreaker. Now, the second tip is really be patient. It will take some time, especially for your talent to comfortable and memorize all this stuff. It's probably a lot easier on Zoom rather than in a studio with camera and lights and everything going, but it also still, it's still a little bit nerve wracking when you have that camera, whether it's a webcam or the camera on your laptop, when you're actually speaking to it rather than just hosting a meeting. It, it's still a little bit stranger. Take your time. And I also recommend, like I mentioned, break up that script into bits and pieces, right? Into sections and have the person uh, deliver that section and then reset and deliver another section, another section, another section. And remember, you can easily stitch those together. And if the person wants to redo it, let them redo it. The more times they, they do this, the more comfortable they get. And it actually could lead to that this person could be your, your video talent uh, for other marketing videos. So it's a great opportunity to kind of develop that skill and make them feel comfortable in this type of environment. So once we've recorded the video and we get, um, you've either gotten the recording on your local computer or from the cloud, now it's a great time to actually bring it all in. So I edit in Final Cut Pro and what I actually did was I broke up, if you can see here, this is one segment, this is another segment, this is another segment, this is another segment. I just turned it into a compound clip and from there I did some sound design, put a compression Presser on it, did some color grading and a little bit more of editing specifically for this video. And what I did here, actually, I isolated the video itself. So even though we're both here, what I did was I scaled it. 
And this is why I highly recommended using a full HD webcam because you will be zooming in to your subject and you want as high resolution as you possibly can get. Now you can definitely use some 4K webcams. It's gonna cost you a little bit more like the Logitech uh, streaming cam, which is about $200. If you do have the equipment, you can actually connect your um, a DSLR or a mirrorless camera to your computer and then or have them connect it and then they can record. Because most people don't have this, the webcam is probably the easiest thing. So now that the editing's done, I can either go with it as is like this or to go a little bit beyond um, we added some animation. You don't have to add some animation depending on the script of how your video uh, performs. You can use something like art grid or story blocks to add some b-roll on top of this video or get some old b-roll from um, previous footage that you've used for your company. Put that on top. I'll leave links uh, in the description below to art grid and story blocks that you can actually spice up a little spice up your videos here and add a little bit of b-roll um, if you're planning to shoot it this way. So another option for you, let's say you don't like the video. Something happened with the lighting, the color grade, something just didn't seem right from the video portion, but the audio is still intact. What you could do is just take that audio, either turn that into an animated video, or you can actually go to Storyblocks and, you know, pick you know, spend a little bit of time picking the right B-roll and actually you've created a marketing video in the same vein. So just a couple of options using Zoom as a way to create marketing videos. So now you know why you need videos on your landing pages, what to include, and how to easily create them, you have no more excuses to actually not include videos on your landing pages. So go out, test it, and let me know the results. And remember, a landing page video is just one type of marketing video in your arsenal. If you want to learn more, check out this playlist here, as well as this playlist as I go over how to actually create marketing videos just using Zoom. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next episode.